Our ticket to tell you around. Here's some cash in US dollars to go on with. Your share of today is 40%. Mr. Henderson said it'll be forwarded to you in Iranian reals in about a week. The cost of all this stuff will be deducted from your percentage. Good businessman, Mr. Henderson. Yes, that's right. Strictly a businessman. All okay? Sure. Just keep an eye on them in the counting house. You should reach the tire depot by 1.30 p.m. Yes, Ernest. I must have complete confidence in this. My reputation is built up. Good morning. This is Dino, one of my men who will be helping you in the counting house. Not very big, is he? Wouldn't look too convincing in a uniform. Darcy's down high, too many dwarves. I can vouch for Dino's expertise. A lot of my jobs would never have been concluded successfully without him. Everything needed for your exit from the country is here. Care to check it? Passports, travellers' checks, visas. One for France, one for Brazil, and one for Korea. I can't imagine why anyone would want to go to Korea. All well, this would be useless if we don't stop that lie detector blow. Maybe Dino should pay him a visit. Dino? Not necessary. Thought he was auditioning for Snow White this afternoon. <laughs> I have a friend who's a fearless crusader for the underdog. Detective Sergeant Sammy Rose, please. Tell me records we ought to keep an eye on young Leo Bassett. Leo Bassett's an insurance investigator for Legal and United. Oh, Mindle. That bloke Mindle. wouldn't know his ass from a hole in the ground. I thought you said we had Robbie. to keep an eye on him. Yeah, Robbie. Robbie. Was he couldn't... You remember Mindle Seekers? Used to be a secretary here a few years ago. Yeah, best typist we ever had. <laughs> She's been doing some field work for me. She's the one who discovered all about Mr. Leo Bassett. Oh, Jesus, oh, Lord, you could have told me. After all, I'm only bloody branch yeah, manager. Well, your trouble Thank is you don't trust anybody, not even people who work for you. I work on the need to know. OK, don't forget, wow. union meeting 1300. Roger, 20. OK, Come on, we need meeting, some more yeah, space. Right. Let's clean this shelf no up your hand. What about the 
lie detector bloke. Not my doing, Lionel. Schedule plus two. Roger. Whose voice was that? Brian Jackson's, I think. Well, I didn't see him at assignments this morning. Oh, there are about a hundred blokes there. He must have been there. Yeah. Short on staff here, I think, Mr. Jackson. You see, security regulations oh, demand that you. Come on, three guards have just arrived. There'll be another three in a few minutes. All right. You say, sir. Now, I'd better stay for the last one. <clears throat> right, come on, load up, hurry up. Get all those cages. Come on, move. move. Here. Come on, young Mark, get over. Come on, get all that stuff out of here. Come on, move! Move it! This one! Oh, shit! Jesus Christ! Bring that stuff up! Come on, move, move! Come on, let's go! out of here in three minutes. Delay him. They got two million dollars in that van. Two million bucks, what's the matter? You've been around money too long. You're out of your head. Man 27 a base. What's up? We'll be arriving at the counting house in about a minute. Get on with it. Get out of sight. Clear out, out you boys. Take this one quick! Come on, move! Get inside! Inside! Guess I'm just gonna round up a couple of late arrivals. Hold the fort. Darcy's? I wouldn't know how. But I'd like to know for sure that some other blokes aren't. Well, I mean, are you friends? I suppose you could say well, that... Well, what's your opinion of him, professionally? First-class security man. He's been of invaluable assistance since I've been here. Oh, there you are. What'd I say? All right, when will he be back? He has to do these uh, detector tests. Back. Mr. Darcy is back. He started yesterday. Here, let me in, will you? 
I'm sorry, Mr. Darcy. Regulations state that no one's allowed in while the van's been unloaded. Is that right? Sounds like it. Yeah, probably. He knows uh, the rules. I don't know. Look, heart. I'll go up the back and round into the local. No, 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 no. It'll take you more than four minutes. We'll hang on here. <laughs> I said I'll bargain for you. Well, why aren't you at the union meeting? Seemed pretty keen at the last one. You coming? <coughs> I'll uh, catch up with you. Ooh. <gasps> 